After years of thinking about the CDT and almost 12 months of planning, our adventure started with a 13 hour flight from Auckland to Los Angeles. Unfortunately I did not do enough research and our accommodation ended up being in a rough neighbourhood. Because of this we opted to grab burgers and blob in our motel room. Although we were exhausted, we hardly slept, the excitement was just too much. 4am the next morning an Uber took us back to the airport where we boarded another flight which took us to Seattle, Washington. There we went to our first Walmart and then REI where we purchased food and other outstanding items we would need. We then went to the train station and boarded an Amtrak train. This took us on a 16 hour overnight journey east through the states of Washington, Idaho and into Montana to our destination at East Glacier Village. Here we rested for two days, enjoying the hospitality of the small and quaint village. These rest days allowed us to adjust and shake off the jet lag. Helen then arranged transport to Chief Mountain on the Canadian border, where the hiking would begin. After taking the obligatory photos and tagging the border, we then took our first steps on what started a five month journey south along the continental divide to the Mexican border. Immediately we were amazed by the beauty of the landscape. Everything was new and exciting. I found myself describing everything as amazing and my excitement didn't die away as we did our first short day of 16 kilometers to our first campsite at Lake Elizabeth. Just want to do an update, show you where we are. It is absolutely beautiful here. Very buggy, but just insanely beautiful. You know what? We'll keep going. Here comes my beautiful wife. Very pleasant today being overcast. I'm glad our starting day is not too sunny, even though it obscures the views. You pack it at its heaviest and you're at your own fittest, so it's nice not to be having sweat dripping into your eyes, stinging with all the salt. The trail is a bit muddy, but we're making do with these absolutely stunning. Stunning views. Lots of water, so we don't really need to carry too much, thankfully. So it keeps our pack a little bit lighter. Just taking our first break, done about five, six kilometers. 
actually quite humid so we're sweating but then we started a little bit late we're going to stop and enjoy some lunch and then I think we have another 10 kilometers or so to get to where our campsite is so that'll be pretty cool and here's Mrs Thomas looking amazing as per normal not all sweaty and grimy like me Probably not interesting to most people, but that's the first fresh bear scat that we've seen. Just having to play with the selfie stick, figuring out how to use it so we don't get mocked much by Mr. Pratik Selfie Stick Patel. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing to be walking on the Continental Divide after talking about it and planning for it and saving for it for years and years. I think we're the only ones out here today quite nice. Uh, still seeing a lot of a bear sign as Helen has just pointed out. The scat bit of footprints. It's currently in these amazing meadows. It's a nice easy day. 360. Pretty cool. Trail is really nice at the moment, although these parts here don't last long. Coming up here and just saw our first bear. First day on trail and we saw a bear that was fantastic. Unfortunately Helen was a little bit behind me and didn't see me, see it. But uh, I am pumped. That is so cool. So cool. And Helen here is telling me that she's quite happy that she didn't see it.